Good afternoon, everybody. Hello. Hello, Paul. Hello, Patricia. Welcome back. Hello, Judy. Just humour him. Yeah. Or something. Yeah. Mostly people just ignore me, to be honest. I'm, that's what I'm more used to. Or being abused. Anyway, at least I've got that. You are? Did he? Oh, well, it was lovely to FaceTime him. Did I tell you I FaceTime Benedict? <laughs> get some bird song on and it do you know what it's a really nice one today i might have it oh, we might be done in 10 minutes and then you can all clear off and leave me alone um so yeah it's an easy one <laughs> no i don't it's e it's easier than it could be but harder than not doing it at all <laughs> Yeah, but we're not using masking fluid today. We might use gouache or gel pen. Yeah, yeah, I like that. None of it is... We're not doing anything that you haven't done before, unless you've never done anything before. And then, obviously, everything is different. You may be correct in that assumption. Famous last words, very absolutely, Judy. No, but it is the, the most difficult bit is the white dots on the mushroom. I nearly <laughs> called it a pumpkin, and it's not. It's the wrong season. Um, He's probably got one of those days. <laughs> but if you've got white gouache or white gel pen, you don't need to worry. Um, if you if you wanted to masking fluid, you could. You'll need a bit of gouache, won't you? Yeah, I think I'd need. A I can give you all. I'll give you all a squeeze. Oh no! Look, I've got gel pen. You've got gel pen. You've got gel pen. You've got gel pen. I've got them, but they're not good, aren't they? Yeah, here. I'll stick it in you. Barry's giving Maria a squeeze. Covid safe. Covid safe squeeze. I'll leave that there. So there's not a lot to draw, but I'll still give you enough time. I'll stick it on my. Okay. Thank you. Just draw your mushroom and the mossy bank that it's on. Oh, no. Not bothering. Nah. 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 I'm gonna wing it. You're gonna wing it. <laughs> Loved your painting from Tuesday, Chris. Mm. <laughs> I, just I did. I saw it. You might have thought you've snuck it in, but no, I saw it. Very good. What was that bed? It was this one. Yeah. It's really nice. Really? Because it so dries. It, don't change, or it dries very quickly. Yeah, it dries and it just doesn't blend. It's not the same as watercolour. No. Yeah. yeah. And I'm used to the watercolour being like. Yeah. I like working in acrylics. I like working in acrylics, but it's it, so bold. what I find is the problem is that it doesn't blend when you need it to. Mm. It dries, and then when you don't want it to, it never dries, yeah. and it's really annoying. I think I had that problem with the boat, didn't I? Everything was drying that quickly, and I did a bit, and I wanted it to dry to move on. Wouldn't dry. No. Get the hair dry out. Uh, who's in the classroom today? Well, Judy, we have Christine, we have Dee, and we have Marie today. So I've got the three musketeers <laughs> in here today. Hello, Joy. Where are you today on your boat? Starport still, I think. See, we've got them from all over the world. <laughs> Bambury, Starport. <laughs> They're everywhere. Did you decorate it for Christmas yet, Joy? What, a boat? Yeah. Ooh. I'll tell you, I've had a lovely email today, and um, I'll just, it was really nice, and I don't get nice emails very often. Normally, it's like, where's the money for the, the bill? Where you owe us money. Usually they're the emails I get. Yeah. Uh, but this one was from somebody that did a lesson on art stream. You know, our new streaming oh, yeah. site. And they said they, they don't have Facebook, so they've not been able to join live. Mm. So they were really happy that they were able to buy the lessons without that. And um, they hadn't had any, they hadn't done any drawing in a long time. They found the lesson really to, easy to follow. Um, and it was really relaxing. So they really enjoyed it. And they, in, uh, attached the draw the, the picture that they did it was really good 
That was really nice. Nice, nice bit of feedback. Excellent. Because uh, most of the lesson, well, no, not most of them. The acrylic class, the Wednesday drawing class, this class, and um, the Thursday morning class, they all get uploaded as soon as the lesson finishes. So when you all leave, I download it off Facebook, then upload it onto YouTube, and then create links and whatever for art stream. Yeah, so I was going to tell you about that, wasn't I? Because we've got a, a... You forgot your iPad. Never mind. <laughs> There's plenty of time, but... Um, so, yeah, I will let you know. I mean, if you're watching this on Artstream, because you could be watching this in a year's time, I really don't know. If you're watching this on Artstream, you've already found it, so well done. Um, but if you haven't, um, if you go to artstreamclub.com, which is this while you're drawing i'll show you that's this this is the website the home of easy to follow class videos and then you can go to art stream videos da -da 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 -da. and then you can select watercolor drawing acrylic color mixing calligraphy gouache pastels watercolor pencil pen oil colored pencil inks mixed media soon to come will be art history putting the art history on there and then if you go, oh, I fancy doing, I fancy doing some watercolours. And then we can go, oh, snow scenes, animal, landscape, portrait, seascape, still life flower. Oh, what's he got in landscapes? And then you can go, oh, look at these. And you can buy one. So you can see the image. Got 14 lessons on there so far. This is the one we did last week. And then you add to your bag. Oh, but everybody did a cracking job. Paul, by the way, well done on your um, updated version that you did after following my expert advice. Trish, yes, you are late. Sit up the corner, please. Um, but welcome. Um, yeah, Paul, brilliant job. Liz is in the gower. Bada da. Shidiki. Dayan dioch. Troy ber this. That just says public footpath, so don't worry, but it sounds impressive. <laughs> Dim Parkio. Um, Dim Parkio. Panwell Colacox of Bikama. Sclodion. Sclodion Chips. Yeah. <laughs> shop a skiddy eye. Do you know what that is? Shoe shop. Shoe shop. <laughs> yes, slow down. <laughs> no, I've got all of the Welsh, haven't I? <laughs> I can swear in it, but I won't. But it's lovely down the Gower. Very nice. And what the usual, but a nice big soggy brush because there is quite a lot of wet in wetting to do. No. I know. <laughs> yeah, go oh, go for that one, Marie. Yeah, you'll you'll be able to bath in that. Um, fiddly ones. Yeah. I'm using my trick. I'm still allowed to focus. I do apologise. I'll put it in focus so you could see the other thing. Zero. I didn't have a class this morning because there was nobody to teach, so I didn't teach it. Well, that's perfectly reasonable. I did other things. Because you were doing busy. Mixing paint. Yes. Yes, I've mixed more and more paint. That's because everybody was going back to work. And yeah, it was... I'm trying to do as much of normal life as they can, just yeah. in case. But I think we'll be right. I think, I think to hake or not to hake? That is the question. Yes. Mm, dep how big's your ache, Trish? If you've got a little one, I wouldn't go any bigger than a one and a half inch. An inch hake would work. Possibly. Perfect. Now, how many? Let me know when you've drawn, will you? So then I'll know. I mean, I know there's not a lot. I haven't drawn the um, the dots. But there we go. About an inch. Yeah, go on, hake it. Who's? Nobody's going to know what they're going to do. Sack you. It's all right. It's all right. 
Painting later. Thank you. Oh, Trish. Thank you. Thank you, Judy. Thank you, Norman. Thank you, Paul. Uh, there's six of you now. That's lovely to have you. Do, 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 do. Thank you, Joy. It's no secret that I'm obsessed with these toadstools. But you don't eat them, do you? Because you don't forage with them. No, when we went out foraging, she said, I'm just going to see if they're there. They were a bit too early, wasn't it? Yeah, we went just, if we'd gone... A week later, a week almost. Later. It's a pleasure, Paul. You did very well. Awesome. Paul foraged. Paul's been on a foraging course as well. A while ago. Did you eat what you foraged? Yes. See, I'd just be too scared. I don't even. I don't even trust myself buying things from the supermarket, let alone something in the middle of a field. Anything? Yeah. I can't. I can't eat mushrooms now. But no. I love mushrooms. I have mushroom powder now. Oh, thank you. Is that all the things? And the soda line. Oh, thank you. What do I have to do with it? Carry them around with you. Because Ellen actually does go for the So, it's loads of colours today. Both reds, both yellows, both blues, and a bit of brown. Although I am, I am toying, you know, we will do that. So lemon yellow, cadmium yellow, cadmium red, crimson. Oh, I haven't put crimson down. Maybe we don't need crimson as much. A bit of crimson. I did say crimson, but I haven't written it on the board. Um, but we'll, we'll, cad red, cad yellow. But I think a bit of crimson will work well for your, for your mushroom toadstool. Well, that's good. Well, you did. Uh, there was a bit of spillage, there wasn't there. I know there was. Yeah, but. Well, I am going to have to get a new paint. Good, but you enjoy <laughs> using them. But I'm tired. We've got royalty in the class today. Oh dear. <laughs> got got the queen. She hasn't bought any. She hasn't bought any money. Queen D over there. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we can we can sort it out with a lemon a lemon. I've been working out my new mixes and it works a lot better now to get less sticky, aren't they? Cuz I only made these the other day. So yeah, look, so I've made these um, this week already, but you can see they're not sticky. Oh, they're not, yeah. They, well, they're tacky. I mean, these are still wet, but they're a lot, a lot better than the originals. Yeah, because if you tip them sideways, they run out. They do. So they're, they're, they're getting more improved all the time. Yeah, and they're, now there is Barry's Grey available. Yeah, I know. It's we we. There's nothing we can do about the stickiness of them. Even the big the 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 um the dried ones are still sticky because of the honey in them. But we used to sell professional quality six, seven, eight pounds a a, a pan ones, and they used to stick. And they used to actually run far more than mine. But we when they're wrapped up, you see, you can use the paper. You can use the paint that's on the wrapper first. So I'm wetting my squirrel because okay. it is quarter wetting? past. I'm wetting my brush. I think they donate them. I, I, I put a sign up in the park asking for squirrel haircuts and then they line up and then we give them a trim and we don't make these brushes ourselves. I won't lie because it's called passing off, isn't it? So I can't. It's not. It's a, a lovely British company called ProArty. So I'm wetting. Give it a good wet, your, your background. 
The wetter the better, but don't bath it. I love my paints. They're the best paints I've ever used. And it's not just because I've made them. I just, it isn't. It really isn't. They're, they're really lovely. And affordable. They're, yeah, all of your background. Make it nice and soggy, but not totally saturated. Um, yeah, not the mossy bit. You just go down down to that line that I've drawn. Now, there is a hint of sky, so I might put in just a little bit of cerulean. Just dot it about. It'll spread, and that's okay. But don't forget it will dry. 30% lighter. It's a bit like Bruce Forsyth catchphrases, isn't it? I like it. Um, they're three pound each, but yeah. a tenner to you, Marie. Each. No, three pounds. Three. <laughs> three, pa three. They're three pounds, pounds each, or a whole tin is thirty, for fourteen colours. Fourteen colours for thirty pounds, which is really good. Yes, I've I've um I've just done a full pan of ultramarine to test out. And it worked. So um, the background foliage is going to be lemon yellow and ultramarine or spring green if you've got my set. It'll be the one under yellow ochre if it hasn't. So lemon yellow and ultramarine. Lemon yellow and ultramarine. Because my set has them pre-mixed, you see. La, 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 la. I might put a bit more lemon in it at some point. I've been singing Christmas songs, so I've got Christmas songs in my head, so I do apologise. I don't apologise. Yeah, just shove it on, Marie. Shove it on. Obviously on the paper. Don't just shove it anywhere. Cause that, that would be crazy. I might throw in a bit more lemon yellow up the top end, although this does granulate so beautifully, it will give me some nice effects. And I've fiddled with the lighting because um, I didn't realise that when I had a few issues the other day and I had to reinstall stuff, it, it um, set my settings back somewhat and um, nothing looked right and it looked very dark on Wednesday so um, a few people said oh it's very dark bit of ultramarine down there to go a bit darker Doo -doo -doo -doo. so it just goes for a darker green really I might throw in you a, bit a little bit bluer a bit bluer down your bottom what blue is that? ultramarine Oh, that'll be the call that you told me about. Oh, well done. Right. Hello. 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 A bit more blue down the bottom. I might even go a little bit more purpley down the bottom with ultramarine and cadmium red. Right, so that was just a bit of ultramarine, wasn't it? Yeah. Oh, yeah, a bit of ultramarine, a bit of uh, purple down here. Shadow colour one, this is, or ultramarine and cadmium red if you're not fortunate enough to have my set. <laughs> available online or in the shop although actually I've only got one set left I've got to make up some more because people keep buying them I don't know what they think this is a shop or something so ultramarine cadmium red down the bottom basically you want it nice and dark behind the toadstool areas because that um, really helps um, it'll bring your toadstool forward Honestly, if you just did screenshots of things I say, it sounds very random, doesn't it? It'll bring your toadstool forward. 
what we all want in life, isn't it? A forward toadstool. Nothing lives in a backward toadstool. There really isn't. My gnomes would agree. So a bit of green and a bit of purple. It'll give you a nice sludgy grey colour. Oh, how beautiful. Look at that. Nice bit of... Look at the granulation on those. Look at the granulation. The, from Barry's paint box. <laughs> Although we only got one left, Jackie. I know. Who will be the lucky owner? Tomorrow morning... Who will be making the sets up, I wonder? Don't look at me, mate. I've just looked at you. No, no takesy backsies. <laughs> but you wrap them so beautifully. I think maybe just wrap them up. Pre 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 wrap. What I'm doing? Where did you get that bit of mauve from? Um, cadmium red and ultramarine. No, yes, cadmium red and ultramarine. That's right. Mm. Starting to dry. Now you could spatter water, and I shouldn't say that too loudly because Dee gets very excited with any mention of spattering. <laughs> it will give you that spottled, spottled, mottled, a spottled effect. I'll show you, but I think I need to paint the trees first. Okay. Thank you, Jackie. Jackie's abandoning us now, everybody. Um, For goodness sake. Where's your commitment? And the trees are ultramarine and burnt sienna. Bye, thanks Jackie. Bye. So if we have any customers, I will have to serve them. Reluctantly. Probably moan about it. But I need the money. Ultramarine and burnt sienna. So if this is still damp, you see, it goes a little bit spready. What, what what Ultramarine burnt sienna. Make a dark brown. Is it a very dark brown? Yeah, because it'll mix with the colours that are on there anyway. But if I show you what you can do with a bit of spattering on a toothbrush, you know, your life's complete in these lessons, isn't it? All these life skills that you're learning. It's Diwali today, isn't it? Festival of Light. So happy Diwali if you celebrate. Spatter. If you spatter while it's too wet, it won't work, you see. You've got to spatter at the optimum dampness. And that will give you little... It'll look like you've got lots of little fairies just flying around. That's me tapping any excess water off me toothbrush. Or toothbrush, because it's a tooth where I'm from. Good Jill. Have you have you started using them yet? <coughs> yeah. Do you want a toothbrush? might spatter a bit more as it starts to dry because if it's too wet you see what happens is the spattered water just melts in with the the wet paint and the wet water wet water there's no such thing as dry water um so you have to wait for it to just go off so it goes from glossy to satin satin is the optimum spattering so what are we splattering? water a bit of water oh just water yeah, yeah. spatter a bit of water on your paper 
Oh, they're, they're lending each other's toothbrushes, isn't it? We're actually, do you know what we're going to be doing? We're going to be creating our own actual cauliflowers. So for those of you that make cauliflowers without knowing it, I wonder if you'll be able to make cauliflowers when you're actually actively trying to make cauliflowers because moss works really well. I'll show you a painting we did um, a few yards ago. I've shoved a fairy on it, um, <laughs> as you do. Um, but if you look at that mossy bottom, see how mossy the bottom is, and that's all cauliflowers. There's the fairy. Oh, look at that. How magical. This is available on my shop happy store. Thanks. I'm trying to like earn money and things, you know, like a proper grown up does. Yeah. It's not working very well. You see, when you follow this stuff and they go, oh, if you do a job you love, you'll never work a day in your life. That's true. But nobody ever mentions earning money. Yeah. You need to earn money from what you love doing. That's good. You see, the arts, there's never money in the arts. Everything I do is all the arts, isn't it? It's only if you get accepted by the in crowd and you then have agents and yeah. they then come to the show. I'm going up to see the RA Summer Exhibition. Are you? Yes. I've, I've got to say, there have been lots of positives about. Oh, I filed it. Where have I filed it? Royal Academy Summer Exhibition. The Dame oh, Laura on. Knight Exhibition. She was a wartime artist, Dame Laura Knight, at Milton Keynes Art Gallery. Wow. And I've had lots of people say how amazing that was. She was a phenomenal artist, Dame Laura Knight, and there'll be lots that you will have seen um, familiar with. So when we did the wartime artists, we, we mentioned her a little bit. Um, and it's running until the 20th of February um, next year. Oh yes, Paul Nash. Yeah. Paul Nash at Compton Burnie. And I'm drawing. It's called Love and Solace. Oh, nice. Okay. It's a mixture of war. War art and, and other. And, uh, yes. Oh, well, that's nice. And where's that at? Compton Burnie. There's some good art exhibitions on for those of you that do like your art history as well as doing, doing and appreciating. I think appreciating helps you appreciate what you're doing, to be quite honest. Have you seen the Star Artist of the Year? I haven't seen any of it yet. The portraits. Some of them actually look like, like as who they were painting. I, I, I get frustrated. A, I get frustrated with the judges of the Portrait Artist of the Year mm -hmm. because they keep, they keep saying we want something different every year and it doesn't have to look like a person. I'm sorry, if I'm paying £200,000 for a portrait, I want it to look like me, albeit yeah. probably a flattering version of me, but I want it. Yeah. I don't want them to go, is that Barry Whitehouse or is it Brian Blessed? Mm -hmm. You know? Yeah. I don't, I don't, I don't, I need to know yeah. who is it for £200,000. But also, what frustrates me is these artists are so used to using reference images like we do that so many of them will use their iPad, take yeah. a photograph, and then they've they've got this celebrity as close to you as yeah. I am, D, and they don't talk to them. They just have the iPad there, right by them, yeah. and then they work from that photograph. They're not asking them questions. They're not looking at the skin tones. I mean, the idea of painting from life is that you actually look at what you're doing. Can we go and do a plan air? Yes, can we can. Like yeah. I'll look at it because I've only done the January to June classes, so the July to December classes. It would be nice to do an actual outdoor. Yeah. And I've got 4G, so I can do a live stream as well outside. Mm. It'll be like, I'll be like Hannah Gordon <laughs> on, um, on uh, what was it called? Watercolour Challenge. Yeah. Mm. And I'll call it Watercolour Challenged. <laughs> 
Now that'd be fun. We could do an outdoor one. We did one a long time ago. Sandra, I don't know if you're with us today. And Joy, maybe you remember. We did. Maybe Marie, you did. We went and we did. We did we did we went to the pig farm and we also did one of the cross Banbury cross yeah. we did uh, we went and sketched the cross mm. and then came back to the shop and painted it but we did go down to the pig farm at, mm. at Adderbury and we we did some paintings mm. um, together is it hilariously careful Paul says we've never seen you and Brian blessed in the same place no <laughs> well <laughs> there you go he's got better teeth than me You've got much better teeth. So I'm just waiting for this to dry. But you can see how it's sort of gone mottled and granulated and beautiful. Mine's granulated. <laughs> yeah, wait for it to dry a little bit. That The trouble when you're spattering and cauliflowering, so we're, we're going to create the moss and we want to create um, the cauliflowers. So I'll talk to you about how a cauliflower works cauliflowering is when you add a liquid whether it be a dilute paint or water to nearly dry paint because you know when you've got your paint paint or your paper wet and your paint is wet you add the two and they swish about and they blend that's fine when your paint is dry and you've got wet paint you can glaze over it and you get a hard edge when you have a cauliflower happening now, I wonder if I can make a cauliflower for you. It is vegan month after all. Um, so, a cauliflower. Let's go with, oh, let's go with a bit of ultramarine. So here's a bit of ultramarine. Like that. So that could be a wash, it could be a background, it could be a sky, it could be anything. Now, I don't know if you look how glossy that is. So if I wanted to mix in a different colour, let's say, um, oh, primary red, because I like that colour. Um, I can go in with my number four, and it's nice and wet, and look at the, the lovely blends that has, yeah? Perfect, because it's nice and glossy. If I quickly get the hairdryer on this for sort of a quick second, so it turns itself off from glossy to more of a satin, so it's not totally dry. If I go in with some water and touch it, can you see what's happening? It. it the paint is only slightly wet and the water can only travel where the paint is wet but where it's dry it can't move that is cauliflowering because it has the top of a cauliflower um, and that is how to make it on purpose and that's what we, oh we've got a customer that's what we're going to do when I come back purposeful cauliflowering oh dry your painting off while so I'm off. Very wet. I will be back.
Was a new student. Mm. I could do. I could do a Brian Blessed uh, if I wanted to. By the way, Judy, but I won't. I'd sound like Daddy Pig from Pepper. Oh, we did, Joy. We came to your boat in Banbury, and we had a painting day when you were moored. I remember that. I remember that. That was a lovely day. A lovely afternoon. They were moored up. They were all moored past Morrison's. Up past Morrison's on the canal and we all sat outside and had tea and we painted. That was a lovely day. Right, so now, so I've got a new student on Thursday morning next week. That's exciting. Somebody who enjoys waffle talking. I mean, that's like a perfect student, isn't it? <laughs> Waffles on. That's good. Right, so I'm going to mix all. It's 
Summer Green, if you're with my paints, or Cerulean Blue and Cadmium Yellow, and I've got the hiccups, um, for um, this. I'm going to dampen where my mossy bottom is. Cerulean Blue and Cadmium Yellow. More Cadmium Yellow than Cerulean. Because Cerulean can be a bit punchy. Dampen your mossy bottom. Isn't mossy bottom where Sean the sheep lives in the farm? It is. Yes. Those of you with grandchildren will know, or those of you that are big children like me will know. So dampen my bottom, and then I'm going in with. Um, yeah, but not your mushroom. Leave your mushroom well alone. Don't pick it. So I've got a, a, an equal mix here for now. And we'll just cover it. But don't forget, it will dry 30% lighter. Cerulean blue and cadmium yellow. If you use lemon yellow, it will be a bit too acidic. Let me turn my lamps down because it was getting a little bit too um, shiny. It's got to be a bright green. Um, bright enough for now because I want to drop in um, a bit of darker green which is ultramarine and cad yellow or autumn green and we'll drop that in and create little little patches so we've got light green, cerulean and cad yellow, and then a dark green that we're dropping in of ultramarine and cad yellow. And we're just going to plop it about. Technical. Plop. I haven't, I haven't got into the larkins, I'm afraid. I can't. I was telling you on Tuesday, wasn't I, Chris? I just can't get into it. I've only seen one episode. And it, uh, but what what I've I don't like Bradley Walsh, I just don't like him. Um, sorry, Bradley, if you're watching. Um, but I think the difficulty is I could believe it as a totally separate show, but Marlarkin is identical to Pam Ferris, so it's like the characters that character is the same, but none of the other characters are. And I find that if they were all totally different, I could get my head around it. But you know, it's the the other blue and the same yellow. And we can go a bit darker. Now you can, if you want to try making your cauliflowers, you can put your cauliflowers on and see what happens. What you don't want to do is for things to dry. If things dry, then you're a little bit um, up a creek. Paddleless, as they say. We won't name the creek. Although, if the continuation of sewage, it could be any creek, mm. couldn't it? Yeah, oh, well, have you got? Have you? Oh, you're already cauliflowering. I'm jealous of your cauliflowers. I will see your cauliflower and raise it some cheese. I can't I can't eat cauliflowers anymore. They make me rather poorly with my with my um IBS. And I loved cauliflower cheese. I absolutely adored it. I can eat cheddar, I can't eat soft cheese. Can't eat soft cheese. No. It would have to be lactose-free cheese, and I don't want that. I'm happy with cheddar. I love cheddar. But, yeah, my diet's changed so drastically over the last year. It's been a year this month that I changed my diet, yeah. thanks to a student telling me of a thing. Because I was bent over double, I couldn't sit up. Well, it wasn't funny. It wasn't funny. But I'd been eating a lot of comfort food. And unbeknownst to me, it was um, 
all the wrong food that I shouldn't be eating. So I'm having to be largely gluten free and all of this. I'm low FODMAP and I'm staying low FODMAP because I actually like it. And um, I'm eating lots of things. But I'm out of no mushrooms, no onion, no garlic. But I am having mushroom powder, garlic powder, and onion powder. So I'm still eating these things. So I'm dropping in water now. How do we make this? Drop in water to make your cauliflowers. So we're not spattering this time. We're just dropping it in. You might find that it was cauliflowering anyway. And it's soon cup of tea time. The real reason that people come to the shop. I'd like to believe it's to see me, but I really think it's for the hot chocolate. Mm -hmm. no, 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 definitely. definitely not. Thank you for that. No. Yeah, if it's too wet, it won't happen. If it's too dry, it won't happen. You've got optimum cauliflower time. And that's when it's... when it's it, If you look at your paper and it's really shiny, that's not the right time. It has to go more of a satin for you to drop in your, your water. And we can do more with this as we um, as we play about with our paint. This is a bit wet in places. I've got a wet mossy bottom, a soggy mossy bottom, as you would. Are you getting cauliflowers, Dee? No, it's too wet. Yeah, mine is, and I'm still just doing it anyway, which I shouldn't be. I should. Um, the problem is, if you hair dryer it, you'll dry it too fast, too quick, and then you lose the optimum time. If I just show you the cauliflowers that I made before I nipped down, can you see how they've mm, yeah. dried in those little star shapes? Kind of when we spattered in the background, that was cauliflowers in a way, isn't it? But it's it's... I'm going to try a very quick blast with the hairdryer just to settle it. One, two, three, four, five. Now the options here could be that I've got wet bits that are still too wet and dry bits that are now too dry. Flowers fluffy and cabbages green. A broad bean sweeter than you've ever seen. Any teacher in primary education in the last 20 years will remember that song. Broad beans are sleeping in their blankety beds. Yeah! It's one of the Harvest Festival songs. Joe, hello, don't worry. It's nice to have you with us. Trish, I know you'll do a lovely one of this. I just can feel that um, cauliflowering moss is your kind of thing. <laughs> so don't let me down, will you? Not much, but I do eat fish. I can eat fish. I'll tell you what I do like as a nice snack. I have I'd like tinned mackerel in tomato sauce on oh toast, on buttery toast. Mm. I can yeah, do that. That's that's, good it's good and yeah. it's nice yeah. and tasty. But I do eat a lot of baked beans. I love baked beans. Do no, they not upset your No, weird. They're supposed to, oh, no. but they don't. That's what's so <laughs> annoying about this. I'm not like textbook. I can't have potato skins. No, and I can't eat 
tomato. Tomato skin. I can have passata, yes. but I can't have tomatoes. Anything that's got the pips in it. No, pips or skins. Yes. It's the skins that affect me. Um, apparently with some people with potatoes, there are certain skins that can and can't. Mm. I'd rather not risk it. I don't bother with any skin. Um, I just I just don't want to feel that constant, no. like I've been kicked in the stomach six times, you know? It's horrible, isn't it? Yep. It isn't worth it. It isn't. So I'm... What I do is most of the time I'm dairy free and gluten free. Um, but when I'm out, I'm okay to have an ice cream. It doesn't have to be dairy free, but I with bread it's sometimes a little bit tricky. Yeah, what bread do you have? I have gluten free bread, um, but if I if I eat a big sandwich out that isn't gluten free, I know about it for three days. Um, but uh, it just really hurts. Mm. Um, but if if that sandwich that I've had has tomatoes in it, then I really know. But if it if it's just bread with something else, I'm fine. It, it, it it's all to do with what's in it, isn't it? And 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 everything. So yeah, it's it's been a really interesting learning curve. But I can eat sprouts still, which is nice. I love sprouts. Um, I don't have. I, I can have normal milk in a cup of tea but I can't have it on cornflakes I have lactose free milk because yeah. I can't have soya or oat milk either again I can have those in small quantities in tea mm. um, I can have almond milk that's fine mm. almond, almond. Um, almond milk I can have almond milk um, <laughs> But um, I, I normally have lactose-free milk. Um, but if, if, if I'm out somewhere and somebody makes me a cup of tea with normal milk, I'm fine. But if I have it, it's, ev it's quantities. It's the same as yeah. sprouts. I'm okay with a handful of sprouts. Yeah. But if I had a bucket of sprouts, yeah. I'd be in agony. Yeah, it depends whether you're eating every day. Yeah. yeah. Um, but cauliflower, can't even touch cauliflower. With, within five minutes of eating it, I'm doubled up. It's f it's so weird how it affects me. But what and is it that found its most difficult to you? I mean, you're no longer sitting there as white as a sheet. No. Because you no. were. This time last year was really bad. Yeah. Um, it was really bad because I was eating a lot of pie and a lot I was making loads of pies and pastries mm. with non-gluten-free flour, yeah. and and I was uh, loads of onion, loads of garlic, yeah. comfort comfort tastes, you know. But no. I eat tuna. I do eat tuna a lot. Sometimes I have tuna and beans. I love tuna and baked beans, which is not something that happens outside of the black country, apparently. Tuna and baked beans on a jacket potato. Nice. Nice. Yeah, yeah. I like that, but I don't eat the skin. I eat out. I eat around the skin. Yes. It is difficult, but I've. Do you know what? Asda, because they delivered to me, even though we haven't got an Asda, they have the biggest um, gluten-free stuff. Yeah. yeah, even gluten-free Bakewell tarts and loads of gluten-free biscuits, gluten-free cereals. Honestly, it's it's amazing what they have. And um, when uh, I know, t I think Tesco's and Tesco's and Sainsbury's have a smaller range. But I've never seen Asda's range so big, and it's like lemon drizzle cake, gluten free. Wow, um, the Bakewell tarts are just amazing. It's just nice to feel normal, because yeah. I'm not a celiac. Um, but if I can avoid it, I can. Because apparently, it's not the gluten with me; it's the wheat mm. that's the issue. But you can't really have one without the other. What n by you? Yeah. Really? That's yeah, that's an Asda now. Yeah. Well, I never. So that's on the over uh, near, near Overthorpe, then, isn't it? I suppose. Yeah, Before the industrial yeah. estate, yeah. by the the steakhouse, Miller and Carter, further down. Oh, little mini Asda. But big Asda, they do deliver to 
all over. So I do a fortnightly big shop um, and get all my bits. But I do have my milk, my milk from Milk and More. Right, I'm going to go in with the same colours, but I'm going to go darker and flick down ultramarine and cadmium yellow because this is we, we, we're accentuating our cauliflowers and we'll, we'll fade up so it doesn't matter if this is wet or dry but it is to clock and I've forgotten why haven't you told me too busy listening about my intestines weren't you engrossed <laughs> they do say your vibe attracts your tribe don't they <laughs> but if you look how dark it is around the toadstool's base and again basically you can fade the top up a little so it's it just does little sections of dark give it a bit of a hair dry but I'll go and do the drinks now don't forget for those of us in the room it's one pound fifty a drink hot or a pound a drink cold Marie are you having a decaf cappuccino yes, please, yeah. um, a hot chocolate no, you're on tea what's the matter you, what's the matter no you can pay that then what do you want Marie? a latte tea a latte And I'll come back with the drinks when 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 the lovely Kathy has made them. She likes to guess what you all drink, you see. Oh. But she got stuck with yours, Christine, because I said Christine normally comes on an evening, so you won't really know. Although I never used to make you a latte, you had you had what you were given. Yes. <laughs> Whatever was in the kettle. It was a coffee, wasn't it? You just had a coffee, yeah. Yeah, you might have. I'll tell you what we had yesterday. We had, um, I'll make you jealous, and I'm sorry if it's just a biscuit today. We had um, cherry and almond cake yesterday. Oh, almond cake. Almond. Do you say almond or almond, Christine, because you're northern? Almond. Oh, God. Almond. Does anybody else in this here, in the ether, almond. almond? Almond. I call it an almond. I, I mean, Jackie has corrected me. That's because you say the way you look at it, isn't it? Yeah. Like but when you, yeah. But what Jackie said is, A-L-M, there's no other word, A-L-M. Like it's arms, arms, calms, palms, psalms. So it makes sense to me, but I've had 40 years of black country dialect where it's an almond. Well, you know what it is. It's because they're foreign foods. They're foreign. Yeah, they are foreign. We ain't got almonds, where I'm from. 
Oh, you do have an almond in Dudley. That's an almond. <laughs> Sounds like a bloke. Yeah. Hello, my name's Almond. <laughs> What's your name? No, I, I, I do try. So occasionally I'm bilingual and I will say Almond. <laughs> as well as Almond. <laughs> we will actually paint. Do you know the lesson is called a toadstool? And it's ten past three and we haven't even painted the toadstool. Do you realise that? I don't want to paint anything over it. it it's, it's like when we paint puddles and we end up having to paint the whole painting and then at the last two minutes, that's when the puddles go in. Paul, enthusiastic Paul, your very first class with me was toadstools, wasn't it? I remember it well. Oh yes, Trish, because you're aren't you? You're black. You're well. You're West Midlands-ish, aren't you? Originally, but you've 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 become bilingual as well. Mm. Aren't we clever folk? Eh? We can blend into our surroundings from the black, from the West Midlands. We're really good. I even say tooth sometimes now. Tooth? Toothbrush, because it's a toothbrush where I'm from. Yeah. You say tooth. I, t I try to I try to cross over the, the different language barriers that we have. <laughs> Where's the R? But you know, I've said many a time with that long A, if I could see a pattern. I would I would adopt it but but why isn't it a cardinal yes and why why when you go to the beach you don't get sand in your pants do you <laughs> and you don't and you don't eat a leg of lamb so so why so, I've got sand in my pants with the ants the ants and the sand in my pants um, so it doesn't make any sense to me so I won't do it if it doesn't make sense. Almond, almond. I can see the logic behind it, and it's correct that there are no other words, A-L-M, that have that in it. So I can see that, so I do try. But um, bath, path, glass, no. Are you all going to start saying now when you go to the beach? Have you got sarn? Oh, yes, you're from Sedge. Um, from Sedge. Um Sedgley for anybody that's not from around there. Um, going to say, oh no, I've got sand in my pants. Grab me a towel. Wouldn't work. But if you don't say heist. Heist. No. Heist. heist work. What is that? Yes, because you've got your RP British, haven't you? The RP stuff received pronunciation oh this is nice I'm enjoying myself today I don't normally <laughs> well I couldn't cut have you paid because <laughs> how you how I respond will depend on it no you're not D on the other hand. <laughs> They do, which is a donkey. Yeah. <laughs> but you know, the one thing, talking about pants, anyway. talking about pants, I get why we call Mostly. underpants yeah, underpants, yeah. because they're pantaloons, aren't they? Yeah. The top bits are pantaloons, the yeah, trousers. So I can see why the Americans call trousers pants, because we have underpants, but we don't have overpants. Because they all go commando. Well. So it's very interesting. I'll ask Kevin when he logs on next. Right, I'm not going to do any more with that. I'll go and check your drinks are ready. Oh yes, nasty black plastic bath. Nasty black plastic bath. <laughs> That's a good one, because it would be, it's, 
Would you say nasty? You'd say nasty. Yeah, Those nasty. of you, that you'd say nasty, but you'd say black. Yeah. So you'd be a nasty. Do you say plastic or plastic? Plastic. So it'd be a nasty black. If you were doing it normally, how would you say nasty, nasty black, black plastic, plastic bath. bath? Or a nasty black plastic bath. bath. <laughs> <laughs> right. Let me go and get the drink. I don't know. I'm keeping another matcha tea today, and I don't know what's on. <laughs> I lifted up my penny to somebody, that's why. <laughs> she said something cheeky. I just went, uh, right. <laughs> right, I'm back. I said that with my, I'm sorry. I, I could have said it before I shoved food in my mouth, but I didn't. Right, now. I'm going to, I think I'm going to go with a squirrel. And I want to do a bit of a cadmium yellow glaze over the the red bit. Remember doing that, Paul? And yes, it was with me and uh, Grace was with us as well. Mm. 
right, that's that bit done. So, just cadmium yellow, just on the bit that's red, but we're painting it yellow. Cadmium yellow. They're so nice, aren't they? This it's very rich. But yes. So flat flat jark today, almond cark yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, when can I retire? How long have I got to do this for? Oh. I have. I worked. I I took the test, and apparently, I've got another thirty years. That was exciting. Yeah. No, not quite 30, I think, because I think it's 76 or something for me. I mean, I'm all right if I can do this just sitting down painting a picture, I'll be all right. As long as I can still use my hands and I can still talk yeah. and see well, I'm all right. Did you say me hands? Me hands, yeah. Right. It's all one word, M-E-A-N-D-S, me mm hands. -hmm. I've nearly finished eating now, so I'll be with you. Still come up to your hands. Mmm. Nice. <laughs> So, um, my online students, how is it going? How is your painting going, people of Facebook? You're probably making a cup of tea, so you can't type. I remember you were shocked. Paul says, I remember being shocked at painting it yellow when the picture was red, but all was revealed. Whoa. Oh, that's nice and suspense. Do, 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 do. Find out next week when we finish painting this. We won't really. I think if you took the music out of a lot of scary films, they wouldn't really be scary, would they? It's the it is the suspense, and the you're waiting for something to happen, isn't it? And that's where with Jaws, that's where that really comes in because you can't see anything, but you know when you hear it really quiet, and then as it speeds up, you know there's something going. It's clever stuff. You went to where? Blenheim. Oh, nice. Was it scary? There's those scary... What, Kathy went to one in Le 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 Leighton Buzzard that was scary because it's all at night at, in barns and there's people in costumes that jump out at you and stuff. I wouldn't like that. No. I, don't like don't I don't like people in costumes. I don't like, I don't like Unless it's there. Abba or something. I don't <laughs> mind them. <laughs> well, we had a <laughs> Did you? What did you go as? Um, Frankenstein's Bride. Oh, did you have all the big hair? Mm. Did you know, fun fact about Frankenstein's Bride, she was actually a redhead. Oh, was it? Mm, but it was a black and white telly show, so they it, everybody does it black with the white streak, but it was a redhead. Oh. Well, that makes sense. Doesn't it? <laughs> I mean, you know what they say about redheads. <laughs> We've got no soul, apparently. <laughs> they burn. You see, they just burn in the sun. 
<laughs> That's true. <laughs> like the vampires. <laughs> Do you notice the cheekiest one is the one that actually hasn't paid? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> well. <laughs> Uh, it's a good job we all know each other, isn't it? So, the, we want the mushroom <laughs> colour of the actual mushroom body, which there's brown in it, isn't there? I think we can safely say there's a bit of... Uh, now, burnt sienna on its own could work, depending on your burnt sienna. Some are quite orange, aren't they? Some burnt siennas. So you want a little bit of um, cadmium yellow in that as well and we want a nice soft wash over basically the underside the gills they're gills aren't they in a mushroom yeah. mm -hmm. on the gills and the stem it could be a whiter colour though wouldn't it yeah so you want a lot of water with it so it's really cash. a bit a tiny bit of cad yellow quite a bit of burnt sienna and um wash it on I did sell you a set of paints Paul that day yes I was very happy you came to class <laughs> oh Judy I'm sure it will be better once the magical toadstool is painted and with a bit of gouache or gel pen we can do we can do things it's still got to be sort of a really so a really soft wash yeah more of a brown than a yellow the darker bits yeah yeah i think that would be ultramarine and burnt sienna or barry's gray but not yet no oh, well i don't know because you yeah. actually you, just put you could put bits in however it is quite textured isn't it the everything on that so let me see is this the stalk and everything is that the same color? yeah it's all that color and then with a bit of ultramarine and burnt sienna I'm putting in some slightly darker things now actually looking at this you can see that the photographers used quite a bright flash hasn't it because there's really strong definite shadows on this which I I'm, I don't really like so I will soften it a little bit I'm really looking forward to seeing what you've created with this um, in this lesson So to bring this forward, if if you need to bring your toadstool forward, you will need to do darker greens behind it. Um, that's really the best way I can explain it. What's the other colour to get the this, So the darker colour is ultramarine and burnt sienna. And I'm just doing it as a soft, a soft wash. And then I can darken it later. Oh, I'm trying to work out. There isn't actually... The stem hasn't really got a light side and a dark side, has it? But it's slightly darker on the right, would you say? Slightly. So if you didn't want to spend a lot of time darkening the green behind, you could do quite a nice dark right-hand edge. And it'll be the same for the gills, but you need things to dry a little bit. You could try a bit of dry brushing your grey-brown mix down, down the stem, which will give it that extra bit of texture. And I've just smudged it with the finger. He 
you enjoying being back in real life, Christine? Good answer. <laughs> yes, real people. Well, do you know what's really funny? I've been watching myself back downloading and I answer myself as well, and that's, that's concerning. You've got to enjoy yourself, haven't you? And type, no. <laughs> I mean, that's why when I had Discord, it was really good. But um, I can't really... Um, I, I, I found it was a real struggle to have people in the class, people online, and people in my ear. It was. It, it really was... Uh, it was just too much, really, for, for me to be able to try and do a decent lesson I've yet <laughs> I know some of you are still waiting <laughs> not at all <laughs> never I just keep doing this Sorry, what's that? You're breaking up. What's that? What's that? What's that? There's a faulty line. Hey, did, how long have you been coming to the water? Uh, which did you do first? Was it watercolor or drawing? So the watercolor is your oldest one. When did you? When did you start doing that? Can you remember? Because I'm surprised how fast the years go. You see, because Marie, you've been coming for like ten years now, haven't you? You you um, used to come at Church Lane, didn't you? Sorry? Church in my Church, church Lane, yeah. yeah. So yours is ten years. Yeah, church Lane, and then we went down the corner to a bookshop. Yeah, that's right. And then we came here. You've been everywhere. Yeah, I have. <laughs> and Sandra was coming before that. She used to come when I was manager of Paperway. Where, where? Did, did she still do it? Online, yeah. Oh, is she? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think we've got Norma on today as well, yeah. so that's nice. All the all the crew. I was going to say all the old crew, but I mean all the familiar crew. Yeah, I haven't seen any of them for ages. It must be nice to meet up. Yeah, you should meet up for Christmas or something. I did mention it, I think, in the lines of... It is difficult, it is tricky. I think I need a little bit of yellow. It's got a very yellow edge around the outside of those gills as well, hasn't it? Oh, yeah. <coughs> oh, you can't... Do you know what, Joy? It's really weird. I was looking at a Facebook post yesterday and it had 17 comments on it but when I went on to it I couldn't read a single comment but it said there were 17 I could comment but I couldn't read not just in this class in but I, and I was watching my, my friend Tom Carradine who does the Cockney sing-along he went live yesterday on Facebook he does it monthly he was doing it weekly during lockdowns and um, <clears throat> I mean he's quite a big a big name um, for doing like musical sing-alongs and stuff and he had about 150 people watching him and his live stream kept pausing every three seconds um, so it does show that it's definitely a Facebook issue yeah. not an internet issue well, they a bit of a light switch on this year. you know they are um, but when and what and how, we don't know. It, it's been very quiet. Basically, what happened is that the one that the events organiser for Bamber Town Council, who's been doing it for like the last 15 years, um, she resigned last year. And they've only just replaced, because of COVID and whatever, no events, they've only just replaced that job. And the first job is the Christmas light switch on. So I think they're doing it as a quiet thing to ease the person in. But I don't know when or what. There, there is the um, 
I think it's in November. There is, you know, where it was the light projections on Cornhill, the lovely moving lights and stuff. Um, that's happening on in November with a lantern parade and, and something like that. But I don't know when the Christmas lights switch on is. There's, I've not seen hardly anything advertised about it this year. So I don't know who's switching it on. Because we went from um, celebrities that nobody had really heard of yeah. uh, to local celebrities, you know, or... Uh, frontline service staff and all of that kind of stuff did it so I don't know what this new person's going to be doing I don't know who it is if there's a market because we haven't been told that there's a market because we we've done a Christmas market there for the last four years but we've not been told about it so it's a bit late to try and book things or mm. get stock if I'm doing a Christmas market so I don't think it's going ahead. I am doing one Christmas market this year. Um, I'm doing Buxton Primary School next Thursday evening. Oh. Their craft fair. So I'll be selling paints and my paintings and things there. Good. I thought that would be nice. Are you doing the stones? Yes, I've just done them as little stripes. You might find the thinner the brush, the better. Just yeah, burnt sand ultramarine. Yeah, the, it's Christmas market, wasn't it? And it was, yeah, it was really, really nice. I know we've got reindeers at some point, live reindeers in the town, and a snow globe, a giant snow globe. Uh, but I don't exactly know a lot about it, because uh, a lot of those are organised by the bid, and we've now no longer got a bid manager. So um, I'm sure it will still happen, but how and when it will be promoted, I don't know. It is. It's. It's. It's one of the. I think for retail, this Christmas is one of the most important Christmases since the recession. Norma says, if anyone's interested in getting together for a Christmas lunch, get in touch with her, and um, she'll sort it. Definitely, Norma. Yes. Marie and D. Yes. Chris. Yes. Because there was a bit of a summer meet up at the um, old auctioneer, wasn't there? Yeah, I missed that one. La, 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 la. Does anybody need. I'm going to give you some gouache for the two that hasn't got it. Because you might find it useful. Not a very productive palette you've got. <laughs> I thought you might find it useful. I gave you some, didn't I? Yes. Yes. Because um, what you might be able to do is actually mix some white gouache with some green later to bring out some of the moss in front of your background, you know, if you wanted to do that. Um, so right. The brown bits in there is, and I don't know if I like the brown bits. I, I think don't. I'd rather have, I mean, I know it is the actual moss, but I, I'd rather have greens rather than. Because they could look weird because they've all got the brown bits on top. Almost like seeds. I don't know if they are seeds. Yeah, seed pods. Yeah, I don't like it. Don't and if I don't like it, I'm not painting it. Um, so I want to. My yellow is dry. So I'm going to put a glaze of cadmium red over the yellow, which would accentuate the oranginess of it. Oh, we've ordered something today that I didn't know existed. Cad yellow. Oh, Cad red. red. No, Cardmium red. Yeah. Um, we've ordered masking fluid remover, and it's supposed to remove masking fluid from brushes and clothes. Ooh. And I don't know how well it works. It's about five pounds a little bottle. But I thought we'd get some in just in case we've never got it in before um, so I'm going to put it's all cadmium red but on the dark side I'm going to shove a little bit of crimson while it's damp and we'll
let it dry. Twenty to four. It's scary, isn't it? How fast the time goes. There you go, Judy. That's about four of you so far, uh, Norma. So we got um, Christine, D, Marie, and Judy. I am also organising um, um, Christine uh, a Wardington Christmas dinner at possibly at the Falcon on the thirteenth of December, straight after class. If you want okay. to be, yeah, if you want to be part of that. Yes, that's going to be excellent to go to Wardington first. Lots going on, isn't it? Can't be everywhere. Oh, uh, what on Mondays? Yeah, it's a bit of a it's a bit of a squeeze, isn't it? Yeah, because the meal doesn't normally finish till about three, two, three. Where did you put the other roast? On the right hand side, while it was a bit wet. I can't because this is puddled. I've used quite a lot of water on this. If I go the hair dryer on this, I'll end up with some weird tendrils coming off my toadstool. So I'm just going to sit on it for a minute and let it dry itself. I might do a bit more darks when it's dry. Although, have you got any of your purpley colour that you did at the beginning? The ultramarine and... <laughs> Find one that looks a bit purple, which is the red and the blue. And you can place that just on the right hand side. Extra darks. I'm going to get the hairdryer on this, but I will regret this because it will blow everywhere. Let's see if I can be gentle. Two massive puddles. Yeah, you can see where they're shiny. I just don't want cauliflowers on a mushroom. Yes, that's exactly what I'll have to do. Da -da 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 -dum -dum -dum. Oh, jealous! I love Lego. I, I love Lego. Not treading on one. That's pain. One of the most painful experiences in the world is treading on a bit of Lego. Lego have bought out um, a scale version of Titanic as well that you can build, but it's like seven hundred pounds or something. But it's like two meters long, really detailed. I, I think Lego. There's some there's some modern stuff of Lego that is absolutely phenomenal now. Like the model villagey thing, yeah. And they they glue it all together. I bet you got to do something, I suppose, haven't you? The guys who design Lego used to work upstairs for us in the gym. Oh really? Yeah, and 
they were so they were a- they were absolutely paranoid about security because of Levé Ross. Mm. Yeah. That you know, if you wanted to go upstairs and sort of say something like, you know, we're all going to be out from the different the front door, you had to knock on the door <coughs> and you'd hear them scurrying around inside and then they'd creep out through the front door. So no one would see what so they're no doing. No one would see their new design. I suppose that makes sense because it's very borrowable, isn't it? Yeah. I'm just going to lift off a little bit of highlight. If you end up rubbing off too much of your red, shove a bit of yellow back on there. Yeah. I think Lego as a brand are a lot more expensive than they were but they have created they've done fine art stuff as well now okay. where you can um create portraits wow. in so that, that so it looks pixels so you get like lots of little flat colored squares on on a square and then you arrange them in the right mm. color order and you've got a portrait of a celebrity or something yeah. so clever mm. right i just need um oh, right, I think you've got to be you've got to be a certain focus to create Lego inventions to come up with new designs and yeah. what amazed me is all done um hand. Oh really? Yeah, they didn't have real stuff. Well no, not that I ever saw, but then I was never allowed in the room. No. I suppose you've got to start somewhere. Digital three D stuff is yeah. um, I will I will let you into a secret. I have actually got a Lego Winnie the Pooh house oh. <laughs> and it's got all the characters and it took me two days to build mm. but it's got all of the tree with the leaves on and the yeah. honey pots and even um, the, the back of because it's a tree stump where it's a full tree and then Pooh's house is half in half out and the back opens out and even in the attic you've got poo sticks and you know there's so much attention to detail mm. but it's all Lego Ah. Oh. It's really, really lovely. And I love Winnie the Pooh. Yeah, so do I. Yeah. There's a, do you know, in America, there's now a Winnie the Pooh stage show. Oh, is there? Yeah, it's a Winnie the Pooh musical stage show. And <laughs> um, they're big puppets yeah. that are operated. So you see the, the operators, they're in normal clothes. They're not like trying to hide them. And they do all the voices and all the actions. Mm. But it's amazing. <laughs> Yeah, but I mean, Disney is still heavily on Winnie the Pooh, but because um, they've built a a fake tree house, Pooh's house, Mr. Sanders' house in America in a wood that you can you can rent out, and you can do it as a what are they what are they called? What what did you go? What was yours? Uh, not Uber. Where people rent out their houses. You went on one. Airbnb. Airbnb. You can do an Airbnb yeah. of Winnie the Pooh's house in a forest. Yeah. And it sleeps about four. Yeah. And it looks exactly like it does. Right, so I'm going in with either your white gel pen or your white gouache. And I'm now going to put me little dots on. Yeah, make sure it is dry. Well, it looks very white in this because I think it's such a very big flash, but it's more of a cream. Yeah. But with gouache, it'll pick up, because it's wet, it'll go more of a soft pinky tinge anyway. Yeah. It won't go pure white. I know, but never when you want it to. Little spots and wiggles. It's much finer, smaller shapes around the bottom line. So little tiny dots, you might want to use two brushes, but you don't want to over dilute your gouache because then it won't be white.
and they do kind of follow rows. You probably can't tell. Wow, Judy's got a fully working Lego calculator that's solar powered. <laughs> I love Lego. My in-laws bought me the Weasley's house one Christmas. I don't know where I've put it, I can't find it. Um, I think it's because they're all redheads and I'm a redhead. Something like that. It's looking a bit more orange on the screen. I don't know if I can... Um, I'm just going to reduce the screen size for, for classroom students just for a minute. Because I need to try and get the colour a little bit more... like it is on my paper I think that's a bit better because it had gone a bit funny colour that's a better colour, it's more red now that's that's more like it is um, so if you wanted to put more uh, paler moss in front I'm going to mix a bit of white gouache with my moss green colour and pop it up in front of the background the moss green was cad yellow and cerulean wasn't it or summer green and that will just help it stand out a little bit more I'm doing a free demo on Saturday and I'm doing an autumn leaf in coloured pencil um, the classroom will be open if somebody wanted to join me in real life um, or you could um, watch online for free 11 till 11.45 There's, there's a lot more to it than people think with coloured pencils, but equally it's the right, it's getting the right coloured pencils to do whatever it is that you want it to do. There's every chance, I, c I mean it's coming up to 10 to 4 now just turned so I'm not going to be able to do as much as I would have liked but there's a strong possibility that I'm going to put some darker shadow to the moss especially around and behind the mushroom because it is casting a shadow um, if you look at that there that's much darker there isn't it to the right hand side yeah. Um, so I think I might use um, Ultramarine and Burnt Sienna to go a little bit dark. Oh, yeah, that works. Yeah, they are very spiky, aren't they? they they're crusty. I wonder what they're called. I wonder what the spots on a mushroom are called. I 
I don't think so, Dee. <laughs> don't squeeze one, will you? I'm going to have to Google it, aren't I? The things I Google. I might go a little bit darker down here as well. Ultramarine burnt sienna, so like quite dark. Just to try and bring in new layers, really. Because you want it to really stand out quite a bit. So they are just stuck on. Apparently, by the people, the people of Slovenia, and England and Sweden, used to use these as a fly killer. Chopped up flesh chunks were placed in saucers of milk or water which would then release psychoactive compounds deadly to any fly or bug foolish enough to take the bait. Mm. So the white spots are the, did you say the casing, that was it the original casing, Marie? Sorry? The white spots are the original casing, did you say, that yeah. are just left? The remnants. Yeah, the remnants of the casing before it falls, before it grows. <laughs> That's fascinating. Now, what I might do is actually go underneath some of these white spots to the right and just with my darker colour and just make them feel like they're slightly raised. So if I do the underside and the right hand side of each one, mainly the darker ones. I've been. I don't know if anybody else does this often, but this week I have been a day ahead of myself. I thought today was Friday and I thought yesterday was Thursday. Um, so I've gained a day this week. I think it's because it was Halloween on Sunday and I always think of Halloween as a Saturday thing. Maybe, I don't know, but it has very much confused me. I think I want some nice darker greens again right in the front. Do more ultramarine, cad, yellow, mossy bits. Two hours is sadly almost up. I'll let you know what's coming next week. I can't remember what, what's in store for you next Thursday.
Paul, and how's yours going? I'm sure this isn't the second time you've done Flyer Garrick Toadstools with me, though, but I do remember that first lesson. It's not just me then, eh, Norman, if you tried to join a Zoom group the day early. But I'd rather be early than late. Oh! Yes, we are doing yellow and blue macaw parrots no, next no, week. Must be doing an elephant. <laughs> or watching an elephant. Where are you going to be? Oh, at the Stratford, at Stratford yeah. Oh. No. I'm hoping that I hope we're gonna stay with our boys. Yeah. And then um the summer exhibition. Yeah? The summer exhibition. The summer Royal Academy. Academy. Yeah. I think this year is supposed to be very good, very inclusive, but that may be also inclusive of ability. Cornwall, you yeah, next week you're in Cornwall for your hundreds, uh, your husband's set here, so that's seventieth. Well, that's happy birthday to your husband. Judy's in Richmond. You're all off out. Stop having social lives. For goodness sake. Are there any people without a social life that's going to be joining me next week? Dear, oh. Did you enjoy that, Marie? Yes, I Good. And the mushroom. The mushroom you can eat toadstools. You can't, can you? You can't eat all mushrooms, though, can you? But when does a mushroom become a toadstool? Is it to do with the, the top shape? Do you think? No, I don't know. I'm, let me Google that. What's the difference? Is it going to be one of these things like hair and fur? Because they're basically the same things. I mean, this site says ancient folk tales use the term toad's tool to define poisonous large capped mushrooms on which toads were believed to habitually rest on. Since then, the difference between mushrooms and toadstools has become somewhat blurred. Um, they're unscientific labels because they're just different varieties of, of fungus. Um, some say that dictionary definitions, one can only infer that mushrooms are guild fungi whereas to toadstools are fungi believed to be inedible or toxic. Right. So yeah, you're, you're right in that then, Marie, in that the basic definition is that a mushroom is edible, the toadstool isn't, but then you have also got unedible mushrooms. Yeah, right. So nobody really knows. But there is, there is a if you enjoy toadstools and mushrooms, there's a wonderful documentary on Netflix, um, all about the world of fungi, and it tells you how magical it really is. Although, be prepared, 
They call it fungi. Not fungi. 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 And, every, and I thought it was just the one presenter, but they all said fungi. So they must have all decided that that was what they were going to call it for that documentary, fungi. But it's really clever, and it talks about the different... Um, the way the micellar layers under the mm. forests all communicate and feed each oh, other and help feed well. trees and yeah, yeah. everything. Oh, thank you, Judy. Thank you for joining us. Enjoy the theatre next week. Hopefully, you'll join us. Um, you'll join it on catch up or something later. I don't think I'm going to do any more to this now because it's amazing. Um, thank you, Marie. Oh, that's lovely. That's nice. That's a lovely fun guy. <laughs> fungus yeah. well that's it because it's fungus isn't it so fung it wouldn't be fungus and fungi would it it'd be fungus and fungi otherwise surely yes a barrel of laughs yeah there's yeah there's not mushroom in here because they're all fungi Fun guys and gills. Thank you, Trish. I look forward to seeing what you've created as well. I've I've finished now. I can't be bothered. I've finished. Um, I've had enough of it. Clear off. Thank you. I'll flash the lights. Thanks. I'll sell that. <laughs> nice to see you, Marie. Thank you, dear. I'll see you later. See ya. Bye bye. Okay, everybody. Take care. I look forward. I will take a photograph of this and put it under the um, reference image that I posted this morning. And I actually remembered to post the reference image. There have been times where I've forgotten. Um, I forget by the time I get in. Um, good. I'm glad you've enjoyed yourselves. I've enjoyed myself too. Um, have a really good week. I've already. Oh, with parrots next. I, t oh, I read the wrong lesson. I told the lady downstairs the new student is parrots. It's not. It's a poppy next week. It's behind with a P, isn't it? Parrots in the afternoon, poppies in the morning. Joe says she thinks the painting looks like a photo. Joe, I'm glad you turned up. Thank you very much. Um, so take care, everybody. Stay safe. Look after yourself. Have a really good weekend. It's dropping to single digits now for the rest of the week. We're fully in the, the end of throes of autumn. Um, beautiful colours, though. Beautiful leaves and trees, if you can get out. Take some photos and paint them as I say demo on Saturday morning 11 o'clock coloured pencils um, and uh, an autumn leaf so thank you very much take care stay safe see you soon bye bye, bye everybody